Come here. Come here. Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing a video of brows. I got a lot of requests for brows, so that's what I'm gonna do. What I wanna show in this video is I'm gonna do a few different brow products so that way you guys can see the differences between each product, how they look, the best way to apply them. So I hope you enjoy, learn something, and thanks for watching. So the first brow product that I'm going to be using is a brow powder. I'm just gonna do the products one on each brow so I can kind of go through it. Um, the brow powder is definitely a softer look. It's not one that I always use. I prefer a brow pencil, but definitely this is for someone that if you're curious about brow powders, I'll show you how to put it on. So the one that I'm going to be using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo. I definitely used to use this a lot in the past because I hit pain. It is a really good brow product, but just not my favorite anymore. Uh, so what I'm going to do is for the powder, let me grab a good angled brush for this. I'm gonna use the Morphe M158 brush. It's a little bit softer for the bristles um, instead of something super harsh. I'm gonna use something a little bit harder with the brow pomade, um, but for the powder, I'm gonna go a little bit softer. This has the two colors in it, and in case you're wondering why they have two shades in it, it's because you use the darker shade from about here all the way to the end of the tail and then use that lighter shade more right here to create that natural ombre effect for your brow so it isn't just this one harsh color so let's get started all right so now i'm going to start with that dark shade that's in there and key to doing your brows with any product is making sure that you brush your hairs properly first so what i'm doing is i'm brushing the hairs up because i'm going to start underneath so if I didn't brush them up first, this is how you really see where the root is and exactly where you want to place it versus if they were all down and crazy, you're going to make them a lot thicker than you want to. So I'm going to brush them up so I can really see the root and exactly where I'm going to be placing it. I definitely recommend getting a good brush with the spoolie at the end because that's really what blends any harsh lines and makes putting on any brow product so much easier because already you can see it's a little bit softer brushing it through. Cute. And most of the time I don't worry about making too many mistakes with the brows because I always go back and clean them up with a little bit of concealer. I'm not going any further past this point right here because that's going to be the lighter shade. Now I'm going to brush the hairs down because I'm going to go on top now. So this product is definitely really good for someone that kind of has the same amount of brows as I do. I wouldn't recommend a powder for someone that is more sparse than mine because it's gonna be very obvious that you put on a brow powder. So I would definitely recommend a pencil or even go in with a brow pomade because it sticks a little bit more to the skin. So that way you can fake your brow more a bit than the powder. And then the pencil is also a good option too because you can kind of mimic the look of hairs with a brow pencil versus the powder. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with that lightest shade. I kind of angle my brush in the directions that my natural hairs go. So as you can see, I'm kind of going upwards with it here. And as I was going through with those darker shades, I was going for the direction of my natural brow. So that is brow powder. The other side, I'm gonna do a brow pomade. So the pomade is definitely, like I said, I recommend it if you don't really have that many brows to work with so that it kind of sticks a little bit more, but you definitely have to be very light-handed with it. Unless you want to go a little bit more bold, you definitely want to be letter-handed with it. And that's why, like I said, having a good spoolie on your brush too comes really handy with this kind of product. Mm -hmm. And you just take a little bit at a time. You don't want to go crazy with it because you can always build up. Right, I'm just going to grab a little bit and I kind of just tap it. That's what she said. <laughs> I don't really go in and dig. I'm doing the same thing.
as you can see it's going on a lot more than the brow powder did So for brow pomades, I really like this brush, it's by Benefit. Um, I really like it because the spoolie itself is a mix between soft and hard hair, so it's that perfect mixture. And then also the brush on it is a little bit denser, a little bit harsher than a softer brush. So it makes it really, really good to work with a brow pomade with this. I'm doing the same motions I did with the powder. Just going in the directions of the hairs, going light with it. As the product leaves my brush, that's when I kind of go here. So that way it's going on a lot lighter. I used to do my brows like that. It wasn't good. I used to pluck them into the really thin lines. And I blame my mom. Mom, you let me have tweezers. Not a good idea. All right, now I'm gonna brush them down, just like the other brow. It makes it so much easier. Now you can see already, it's a little bit more structured. This one's a little bit softer versus this one's already a little bit sharper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna clean it up around the edges on both sides a little bit. So I just put a little bit of Shape Tape Concealer. I can put it over all the foundation products that I already have on and it doesn't separate it, make it go on cakey. I like it because it just goes on smooth and you would never know I put concealer over everything else. I just take a little bit with this brush, and I really like this Morphe brush here, but there's no number on it. But this is what it looks like. Now the other side. Using concealer to clean up your brows after gives you a chance to make them look as similar as possible. Brows are never gonna be twins. Twins. They're either sisters or cousins. They're never gonna look the same. And that's okay. If I were to vote, I like this one more. Everything's preference. Everybody has their own what they like, what they don't like. And I like this one, it's a little bit softer. That's okay, I guess. So those are the two brow products. See the powder on this side and the dip brow on this side. <laughs> so I'm gonna get started with the Goof Proof. So I do like this one because it is thicker, which is really nice because it means that you don't have to use as much product. It being thicker, you're not constantly twisting it up. You don't need that much product with it, especially because you have the spoolie on the other end. It really brushes it through the brow. So doing the same technique as I did on the other brows, you want to brush your hairs to make it a lot easier for the fill-in. Definitely gonna have to clean that one up. And then brushing it down like this is what really deposits the color through the brow too. Oh no, I made a mess. Oh well, that's what concealer's for. And this product is nice. You're speedy quick with your makeup, you have to go to work, you only have 15 minutes to get ready. I would recommend the Goof Proof from Benefit. It definitely adds a lot of pigment. Just don't put it on as messy as I did and you'll be fine. I'm gonna clean that one up real quick and then I'm gonna go in with the Brow Wiz on this side. Moving on, brow wiz time. All right, now I'm just gonna clean that one up a little bit too. I don't know if you can see the differences. So cute. Um, so I don't use clear brow gel. Personally, I feel like they are very strong for the brow. They kind of just 
suffocate the brows a little bit so that's kind of how i lose some of my brows whenever i would use them especially when you're taking them off they're a little bit harsh versus this product here it kind of gives it that look of the clear brow gel and this product is the benefit 3d brow tones and this is in the shade number four and it kind of adds almost like a highlight to your brow so it makes them stand out a little bit more and this would be a really good product especially with the powder or the pomade but i'm going to use it now and if i don't want it to add too much color because it does have a color to it i can just put a little bit through the brow and then i'll go through with one of my spoolies and brush it through I feel like this kind of gives the, almost the same concept of where it kind of holds those brows in place a little bit. But like I said, just not as harsh as the clear brow gel. Alrighty. Well, those are my finished brows. I, just, I keep losing things. Oh, here we go. I hope I showed enough versatility for you guys. Different brow products, what they look like. I hope that it was helpful for you. And then there's Mo. Sleeping. Am I that boring? Oh well. I can't please them all. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know any more requests that you guys have because I definitely got a few for the brows. I look forward to making more videos and I hope you guys like them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.